Friends, this is the Mossberg Patriot. Uh, we have spent a ton of time with this and several other guns yeah. in the same price range. So after you check out this individual review, definitely check out our big review where we reviewed five guns in this $350 price range. Right. Um, and we can give you the overall ranking here. But here we're gonna focus just on this gun and it is a beauty. It is beautiful. Honestly, there's not another gun in this price point that looks anything like this. Yeah, no, I, I love the stock. I that... checked out an, another <laughs> review and the guy was like, dude, I don't need the spiral fluting on the bolt. I need the spiral fluting on the bolt. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mwah. I love the spiral fluting on the bolt the ribbing and the, barrel. The, the fluting on the barrel. Yep. It's pretty as this stippled uh, kind right. of grip here on which, the stock. Which is nice. I mean, it, it gives you a little bit more I mean, it helps actually with your grip. Yeah, it, it actually does. But it's also just pretty the way they did it. The build of this gun is, I right. mean, very surprising for a gun of this price point. Yes, I agree with that 100%. Um, and it shows, I mean, obviously we talked about how beautiful it is, but I mean, it shows everywhere. So the bolt itself was just awesomely smooth. It's smooth. Like yeah. right out of the box, like no real break in necessary to make this thing just awesome. No catch. It's it, just. Yeah. It fed consistently. Um, and speaking of feeding, let's talk about that. Yeah. This magazine. Some people really dog on plastic right. uh, mags. I actually don't really care if it's plastic or metal. Mm -hmm. I care that it's easy to load and that it feeds consistently. Out of five guns, that sucker is the easiest to load by far. Mm -hmm. And I never, ever had a catch. Nope. It didn't happen. And we shot four different... In. Four different... Um, cartridges or four different ammunition through that mm -hmm. um, brands and stuff and not a single one had a problem yep we tried yeah i i like the mag a lot a lot of guys again hate plastic i don't really care i just want it to work some of the rifles um the safety didn't make a lot of sense uh to me i think that the the safety lever like when it's off safety mm -hmm. there needs to be a red dot or yeah. red or something it's because it should just be obvious when mm -hmm. you look at the gun whether or not the safety is on. Yeah, some of them have like a teeny little S yeah, in just there for it. S or F, and it's like. Okay. Does that mean shoot or safe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I realize that it's standard, but if I pick up the gun and look at it, I shouldn't have to think mm -hmm. about whether or not it's on safety, and I shouldn't have to look for an, a black engraved S on a black piece mm -hmm. of on black metal. And this um, one's obvious. It this has one's the obvious. Red dot. It's got the red dot. But anyway, the whole thing is just the build yeah, quality is top notch. Metal sling studs. Mm. The, yes. The recoil pad here is nice, actually. Uh, like it actually is helping you with the recoil. Some of them are so stiff that it makes no difference. <laughs> I should mention that this isn't the scope that came on the gun. Right. We'll talk about that in a minute why. Um, it has a recessed crown in here to kind of protect it as you're hiking around in the woods and stuff. Yep. Let's talk about the trigger. Yeah. So for me, I hated the trigger. It really bothered me. Um, at first when I dry fired a couple times, I was like, ah, it's fine. Um, you know, you just feel this Slight bang. little, you and know? it's it's very slight and it's not very far, mm -hmm. but when you feel that and you expect that that to be the shot, mm -hmm. it can throw off the, yeah, I, the actual shot. Maybe, maybe a little bit of a trigger snob. I'm used to something <laughs> a little bit nicer, I guess. So See, for me, it really yeah. bothered me. And that didn't bother me. In fact, I most of the time when I was actually shooting it, I didn't notice the take up. And, and part of what I liked about this trigger is that um, at least on this particular copy that we bought, um, the trigger pull was light. 2.5 pounds. Two and a half pounds. Yeah. Which, I mean, none of the others came that light. It, and it has a fairly easy to adjust trigger. Yeah, um, you do have to take the stock off, sure. but it's not, some of them are a mess to adjust. Yeah. This one, it's doable. So you can totally adjust it to where you want it, but having it come out of the box that light, um, honestly for me, I just, out of all the triggers that we tested, uh, it the trigger had the least impact on my ability to shoot um, because it was so light. And that's where triggers really are. I mean, it's a personal preference. It's a personal preference. Yeah. For me, this was one of my least favorite triggers <laughs> of the five that we tested. Yeah. Um, but it was also the lightest, and so that's nice. Sure. Um, and I, I too like a light trigger, but ah, the function of it, I didn't, didn't love. But lots of good, lots of praise. We had a problem. There's a big, big, big but. This is like, it's like that really beautiful girl you meet. Um, and you're just like, this is the best thing ever. 
And then you actually get to know her and it's like, oh crap. Yeah. I could never live with her. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we took this thing out of the box, both of us were sold. The build quality this was is our, exceptional. Yeah, before we shot any of the guns, this was our favorite. By far. Yeah. The, we thought this is going to be the easiest review ever uh -huh. because there's a clear winner. Mm -hmm. And then we put the thing on paper. Yeah. And it is a dog. All right, this is the out of the box accuracy for the Mossberg Patriot. So first group, three shot group in here, pretty nice. Okay, from 100 yards. Second group got insane. <laughs> and I thought, dude, Ricky can't shoot worth crap. <laughs> so I shot my next group and again, huge group here, five shot group. And this one, I, I mean, I was dead on. I had a solid rest. This was as good of a group as I can shoot. We tried it, so we shot, we tried to sight it in. It just like wasn't sighting in. Yeah. And I thought, ah, whatever. So we spent some time, then we're like, huh. Yeah. We went through a whole box of 20 shots yeah. and I still can't get it sighted in. <laughs> uh, we took it, we cleaned it mm -hmm. all out. We cleaned all of them after a box of ammo. Um, Thoroughly shots. cleaned it. Thoroughly cleaned it, took it back out. And we each put twenty. We each put twenty rounds. And the other thing we did this. is, I thought, well, maybe the scope is loose. Right. So I got a torque wrench and I torqued, torqued down it. properly all the screws, made sure that scope wasn't moving around on us. Yeah. So we did all of the basic stuff you can do to improve the consistency mm -hmm. of shooting that we would expect on a cheap right. gun, brand new out of the box. You got to do some exactly. Things. Then we each put twenty rounds through it. Two um, different, two, two different, more types, two more of types. So of now ammo. we've shot three different loads. Um, and and again, you might say that we're just not a very good shot, but the fact is that we shot four other guns the mm -hmm. same days, and couldn't really see real well through this cheap scope. How we did? Let's see. Our oh my goodness! That's not even what on the, paper. the heck? What in the world? Okay, so left side of this target. This is that Jim. looks like one, two. Oh yeah, over there. One, two, three. What? Four, Holy five. Holy crap! Yeah. That's like a twelve-inch group. And then the bottom left. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't even spot those down there. Yeah, Just on the off the paper. Okay. And then these four look good, but. I mean, what's that all about? Yeah, that's a group, and then, and then that's a, that's probably the best tightest group. Probably eight <laughs> inches is our best group. All right, so that's with the first that's ammo. The fe, that's the that's the Remington ammo. core, and this yeah. is the Hornady Whitetail. Okay, it definitely improved. One, two, three, four. Is that a second? No, I don't see a fifth. Shot. I don't see if is that it? Oh, maybe. Or that might be one of these. So here's one group. There's something. It's, one shot is a wall. You have two here. That's a good group. That's not bad. There's five. Definite improvement with the Hornady. And there's four. The fifth might be this one, or it might be off the target. And then here's the other group for me with the Hornady. So, so the Hornady was better, I'd say overall, on this thing. But it's. But I mean, wow. Compared, I don't know, compared to other guns we've been shooting in the similar price point, that's disappointing to me. Uh, disappointing? That's embarrassing. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Man, the group on this thing, I mean, what was, uh, what was our... Yeah, what, okay, so... Let's look at some of the actual numbers of what we were able to do. We were shooting at 100 yards. The median size of our best three groups out of eight was 4.785 inches. Yeah. An almost a five inch grouping. This is a Those five are MOA yeah. gun. <laughs> well, not, not what you want. I, I mean, it was so crazy that I just thought, no way. There's no way yep. something is up. And I thought, it's the scope. Yeah. I mean, they all have crappy cheap scopes. It's an inexpensive gun. It's the scope. And so we were set to finish this review yesterday and last night it was just bugging me. I was like, no, there's no way it shoots a five inch group. No. And so I went and I got two more loads, two different brands of ammo. And so now we're on our fifth, yeah. right? And I spent 
probably an hour and a half to two hours cleaning this. I cleaned yep. until the patch came out white. And I mean, then, I yeah. Mean, it was perfectly <laughs> clean. And then you switched out the scope with one of the scopes from another one of these rifles. Right. That, we, that was fair. shooting. Yeah. yeah. This, you know, let's just make sure that it's not the optic. Mm -hmm. We'll take a scope off a gun that is shooting well for us and put it on this gun. Mm -hmm. And then we took it out again this morning. All right, we just did a huge amount of work to try to fix this Mossberg Patriot up. And now our first two, oh crap. <laughs> we couldn't really tell in the junkie scope. All right, here's the first group off paper and just huge. Yeah, this was Th that was the, the point target. of aim. And then on this one. Aiming for center. And there's the group. <sighs> I didn't even measure, but eh, six ish inches. Yeah, it was inches. it was bad. It was it wasn't any better. Uh, it wasn't, and and we shot lots of groups. We shot hundreds of rounds over the last few days and testing all of the guns, and we can shoot an inch group. Yeah, and it's just it's not. We tried it over and over, five different loads, different scope, crazy clean the barrel. Uh, it's just a dog when it comes to shooting. Now, big, 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 big caveat. Like when you're manufacturing these, every manufacturer is going to have certain tolerances that are acceptable, right? And at this price point, those tolerances are going to be just a little bit wider right. than, than if you, you, when you go spend $2,000 on a hunting rifle, mm -hmm. the tolerances are a lot tighter so and it you, costs more to You get one piece with a tolerance that. here and another piece with a tolerance there. And every once in a while you get a copy a particular gun yeah, this that just gun. comes off poorly. Yeah. So I thought, but there's no way, right? And so we looked at other reviewers, a bunch of other reviewers to see what they said, and they were having a good experience with the accuracy. Right. And so I would not say all Mossberg Patriots shoot like a dog, but I absolutely this know this gun is a dog. And when you go to the sporting goods store and you spend $350 on a hunting rifle and you take it out to go hunting, you only get one chance. Mm -hmm. And so if the one that you pick up at the store is a dog, you're out $350. Because I can't even sell this thing. Mm -hmm. I can't like justifiably... Yeah, how do you even sell it on yeah. Craigslist? Yeah, I can't go yeah. to somebody and say, you know what, um, this gun is perfect for you if all you want to do is plink around and you don't mind missing the pop cans. Yep. Like, and who's plinking around with a 308? <laughs> exactly. It's it's completely useless. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't ethically, couldn't sell it to yeah. somebody. This is... It is a beautiful prop. It is a beautiful is prop, and that's what it is. But again, other reviewers had no problem with the accuracy, and so I'm not saying every Mossberg Patriot shoots poorly. What I am saying is they really let us down here. They did. If it shot accurately, and many of them do, this would be one of my favorites yeah. from the test. It might have been my favorite. It would have been... Yeah. It certainly would have been in my top three it could have gone to number one. I don't right. know. Right. And I understand because the, the main difference between your opinion of it and mine is that trigger, the trigger. which is yeah. more of a personal preference. Exactly. So that's the Mossberg Patriot. We're putting a ton of work into backfire this channel and spending a lot of our own money to review these guns instead of getting hand cherry picked uh, guns <laughs> from the manufactured. Um, uh, manufacturers. So give us a subscribe. We want to make this an excellent resource for other guys like us who are wanting to hunt and shoot.